Hey, your niece has quite the audience count. A mix of pervs and airheaded teens, I'm sure. They could all use a lesson in internet safety. Don't worry, we'll give your niece a little scare. It's Cindy, aka Dansfu01, and this one goes out to John Boy 415. Oh, Jimmy! Stay out of my room, Jimmy! Like I'm going to your stupid room! Whatever, this is your crap music! This is what real music sounds like, loser! I think we did our job. Thanks, man. Cindy and I are gonna have a long talk later today. In the meantime, I'll put together a package to help kids be more secure online. They'll use it if it's from DeadSec. DeadSec's cool, right? I hope so. Hold your horses. I'm looking through my kitty feeds now, man. Ladies and gentlemen, pervert Cole. Fucking menace. Let's wreck his world. Bath time. I got a never-ending supply. Okay, so when can we meet? Because I need something new for the weekend. Uh, prices are going up, Grace. This is the exclusive material I'm providing. One customer, one kid. I don't know, man. You're not the only dealer in town anymore. <laughs> this is primo. Oh, hold on, Grace. Honey, put on your pajamas and brush your teeth, please. What is it? Oh, uh, something's coming that you're really gonna like, Grace. I'm gonna need two grand. Two grand? Are you out of your mind? Two grand is a fucking bargain. I could go to jail for this shit. You should go to jail for robbing me. You already have my fucking life saving. You know what? Forget I called. I got customers who would remortgage their house for this shit. Okay, just hang on a sec. We can work something out. I could get 4K for this kid. I got an exec in the valley. He doesn't nickel and dime me. Look, I'm just feeling squeezed, but I'm definitely interested. Let me see what I can come up with. Where'd you go? I'm right here. No, not you, Grizz. Do you have the footage or not? Yeah, yeah, no, everything's cool. Um, uh, on second thought, I got another kid in mind for you. Lost my fucking train of thought. You were talking about bankrupting me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, what the fuck are you doing, Grizz? I didn't do anything. Well, can you hear me? Yeah, I think that was on your end, man. Must be a bad connection. Um, okay, okay what was I saying? Some fuck me! Grizz, are you still there? <laughs> Labor piece of shit! <laughs> What is going on in here? 
Purdue to deserve the shit. Thousands of dollars down the drain. Who's doing that? Fuck spies on somebody! Get the fuck out of my house! Get the fuck! I gotta fucking find you! I'm gonna fucking find you! Hi, Dad! Did you get all that? Yep. Jesus Christ. I wish I could reach through the camera and strangle that guy. Don't worry. This footage is already circulating. Society will do the strangling soon enough. Marcus, one of our latest followers sent me this. Consider it a follow-up on home CEO. Yo, check it. I was on the treadmill when this pissy looking guy came up with a trainer and kicked me off. Dickhead looked familiar, so I asked around the gym. It was Steven Bader, the guy in charge of home. I guess waiting for a treadmill is too lowly for rich assholes like him. What would you guys think about shooting a little exercise fail video starring the CEO of home? Steven Bader? I'd love to have another go at humiliating that pompous ass. Why an exercise video? Peeping Steve is at the gym right now. Buckle in and get ready for a show, my friend. <laughs> Christmas is coming early this year. Okay, there's our CEO. I hope he enjoys the workout we're about to give him. Knock him off his cankles. Cardio day. <laughs> I got this. <laughs> You get all that? Marcus, that was the most beautiful thing I've experienced today. Sending the video out. The sheer beauty of a douchebag falling on a treadmill could bring peace to the world. <laughs> Since when do you want peace? I mean metaphorical peace.
shit, shit, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Hey, man, shit, what's, what, hey, what's going on? I was looking at our numbers, how many people downloaded our app, how much processing power we had available, and that's when I saw it. It, what, it, what? A chunk of our followers and bots came from inactive or dead invite accounts. Hey, wait, so someone used a social media site to boost our numbers? Who? And how many fucking accounts, I don't man? know who, but it came from inside invite, someone with admin access, I'm sure of that. As for how many... Sorry, me. sorry, I didn't check. It's, no, it's all my fault. I didn't check. Josh, no, I didn't check. You no, know, maybe someone inside invite is a fan. Yeah, or maybe we're getting set up to get fucked. Checked. We need to find out. Marcus, find your way inside. I should have just Josh, checked. Josh, it's not your fault, okay? Look, we all saw the numbers. You're the only one who caught it. You did good. You did good. Huh? Sending you the flagged accounts. Use the CEO's computer, Mary Catskill. She's on vacation, so her office should be empty. Es hora de que aprenda a vivir un poco, ¿no? Me la paso encerradita en esta oficina todo el día. A veces solo quisiera gritar. A ver si alguien se da cuenta. Es una oficina abierta. Con alguien sin que se enoje. Y luego... I unlocked the elevator, heading there now. Heading up. I'm gonna get us some answers. Good luck, Marcus. We're with you.
I'm in. Trying to figure out who boosted our numbers. Whoa, whoa. What happened? The flight clients just vanished. We lost the bots. What did you do? Nothing. This isn't me. I... Marcus, is this a bad time? Sort of feels like a bad time. And she drinks it with ice. I don't really need to introduce myself, do I? I know who you are. That night at the beach, man, I knew you looked fucking familiar. You know, Venus must have been in retrograde or some bullshit because I think it was fate that I was in the night that you hacked into our system. I had to meet you, and there you were, pissing on your sneakers. All brains and no aim. What's Bloom's CTO doing in the office of the CEO of Invite? And why'd you boost our numbers? Uh, this is the part where you offer me a six-figure salary? <laughs> no, fuck no. No, no, no. You could coat circles around most of my programmers, no, see, I can't pitch uh, CTOS 2.0 as a state-of-the-art security system and then hire someone that's on the no-fly list. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I just came here to have a drink. But hey, if you want to have a drink and a dance, I'm in. Oh, you think it's a fucking joke? Do it. Roll fucking punch. You got everybody eating out your fucking hands, thinking the system's bulletproof? You can't see the people you're stepping on. Guess what, Marcus? Guess what? The people want to be told who is good and who is bad. They don't care how it works, only that it does. But it doesn't fucking work. A few fucking civilian casualties is the cost you have to pay for the betterment of the world. You're fighting a war no one gives a shit about. Now they're just swimming upstream right into the grizzly's mouth. So why'd you prop up dead sex numbers? There's no one in Silicon Valley could throw a proper punch. That, and you're a great investment. You're so aggressive, so indignant. You frightened the rest of Silicon Valley right to my doorstep. You used us to sell CTOS 2.0 to them. It was the ultimate deterrent against hackers like you. And now, everyone needs my protection. So, here it is, Marcus. Your record is back on file. Your backdoor access is plugged. And those bots I gave you, you're gone. Oh, 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 and there's a warrant out for your arrest. Hacking, corporate espionage, and breaking and entering. It's okay. I was done with it anyway.
searched after the suspect. Marcus, it's getting too hot out there for you. Come back. We'll figure this out together. <laughs> 